students welcome to AME tutorial this is the fourth lecture of my course RSTEM in this lecture I will be discussing about the design. now in my previous lecture lecture third I have discussed the illustrative example about the constant radius RSTEM based on thin cylinder theory now in this lecture I will be discussing about the constant angle arch dam based on thin cylinder theory okay so if you have missed my previous lecture lecture third then you must first watch the previous lecture uh, the link is suggested over here because uh, this this particular problem is in continuation with that uh, lecture okay so it will be helpful to you if you first uh, watch that lecture and then come to this lecture here we have to design a constant angle arch dam over a valley which is 20 meter at the base okay this valley is 20 meter at the base and and 100 meter at a height of this is 100 meter at a height of at a height of 120 meter from the base okay so if you remember in my previous lecture I have assumed the depth from the top as H so the remaining depth will be 120 minus H okay this part will be 40 meter this is 20 meter and this will be of 40 meter if suppose at this height H this width is x so this will be also x okay and if at this height the span is say l then we can say that l is equal to 20 plus 2x okay where this x would be equal to x over 40 equal to 120 minus h over 120 on further simplification this will become 40 over 120 120 minus h and this will be equal to one third of 120 minus h so if we put the this x over here then we will get l equal to 20 plus 2 third of 120 minus h so this will be equal to 100 plus not plus but 100 minus 2 third of h this will be f okay so this will be useful later on another parameter that we will require in our example is the radius we already know that the thickness will be given as gamma w h r e over f c where gamma w is the unit weight of water here we have assumed the unit weight of water gamma w to be equal to one ton per meter cube h is the height from the top okay re is the extra dose 
extra dose means the external radius of the arch okay if this is the arch then this radius is re extra dose and this radius will be if this is the center okay like this so this radius is intro dose ri and this will be the thickness t so we know that ri is equal to re minus t or you can say that re is equal to ri plus t so if we require to express the thickness in terms of the intro dose then we have to put this expression over here then this will be changed like this gamma w h into r i plus t over f c gamma w h is the pressure so we can represent this by p so it will be t equal to p into r i plus t and if we multiply this by f c so it will be like this where fc is the allowable compressible expression from here on further simplification it will become t equal to p r i and t will be equal to p r i over fc minus okay so this will be the expression for the thickness when we consider the internal radius of an arch okay so this will be the radius this we will use in our example okay so now let us move on to the calculations for our constant angle arch depth here the height total height of the arch is 120 meters so i have divided it into number of uh, parts of 10 meter each so i have written all the values of height from 0 to 120 in this table okay now the pressure p which we require in to calculate the thickness here p is equal to gamma w h and since gamma w this unit weight of water is equal to one ton so p will be equal to h okay so let us put all the values of p over here in the calculation for thickness we also require this term fc minus p okay so fc in our problem we have assumed it to be of 400 ton per meter square and p is this so this will be equal to 400 minus p okay so it is 400 this l is equal to 100 plus two third of h and this will be in meters in order to calculate this thickness we also require radius internal radius of an arc so to calculate internal radius we have we know that l is equal to 2r sin theta okay so here r you can say ri ri is will, will be equal to l over 2 sin theta now what will be this theta uh, this theta is the 
half of central angle and in case of constant angle rgm the central angle is 133 degree 34 minute so we have to put this equal to 2 sin 133 degree 34 minute by 2 now remember that in this example since the angle is constant uh, the arch is constant angle rgm so this angle will remain constant okay here the radius both the external as well as the internal radius will change unlike in my previous lecture there the arch dam was constant radius so that's why the radius was constant throughout the height that was equal to 52 meter but in this case there the central angle is constant so the radius will change and the value will not be 52 meter throughout but it will change okay that you will see when we will calculate all the values okay so remember that this is the difference in constant radius and constant angle as time so on further simplification we can say that ri is equal to 0 0.544 times r okay this will be useful when we calculate the intro dose So this is coming out to be 0 0.544 times L. So let us put all the values. If we put 100 over here, it will be 54.4. Now to calculate the thickness, we have already derived our expression that is PRI over FC minus P. So we need P, RI and FC minus P. Okay. So now let us begin the calculation for our thickness. Okay. So if we put P is 0, so the thickness will be 0. Then 1.3. This is the calculated thickness. And calculated thickness at the top is coming out to be 0. But we cannot provide a 0 thickness. So there should be some minimum thickness that we can provide in our arch dam. So in this case, we have assumed the minimum thickness to be equal to 2.5 meter. So now let us put the value over here in this calculate. This is the provided thickness. Okay. So if the calculated thickness is less than a minimum thickness, then we have to provide the minimum thickness. And if it is more than the minimum thickness, then we have to provide the calculated thickness. Okay. So here it is 2.5 it is 2.5 it is 2.5 and for rest of the thickness we have with this since this calculated thickness is more than the uh, is more than the minimum thickness so we can provide the calculated thickness in all the rest of the column uh, rows <laughs> Now, since uh, this is constant angle arch dam, so the external radius will not be constant, it may change. So, we can calculate this external radius. External radius is equal to Ri plus T. So, this is the Ri, this plus this will be the external radius. This is how we calculate all the values of extra dose and the provided thickness. Now I hope uh, you understood the uh, concept of uh, 
uh, thin cylinder theory and how to use the thin cylinder theory in the design and analysis of constant radius arch dam as well as constant angle arch dam. And post your questions in the comments and I hope uh, if there is any confusion, if there is any problem, then I can solve your queries. Thank you and goodbye for now.